Paul and Silas were travelling through many cities telling people about Jesus when they came to Thessalonica in Greece. Can you see it? It's just here. Have you been to Greece? You could still go to Thessalonica and visit it now. Uh, the city's still there. In Thessalonica, there was a synagogue, a building where Jews worshipped. Paul was there and he was teaching the people from the Old Testament. He was telling them that God's promise rescue a king, the Messiah, had to suffer and die and rise from the dead, just like it said in the scriptures. Jesus is that Messiah, God's chosen one, said Paul. A few Jews believed Paul was telling the truth, and so did some Greeks and important women. They listened and trusted in Jesus. But the other Jews were jealous. They got really angry. They heard, but they didn't believe. They got angry, and they started looking for Paul and Silas. They even attacked Jason's house where Paul and Silas were staying, but they couldn't find Paul and Silas. So they dragged Jason and some believers before the city leaders and said, These people are turning the world upside down and Jason let them stay in his house. They're teaching people there isn't just the emperor, but another king, Jesus. Well, the leaders warned Jason and then they let him go but they were very troubled by this. That night, the believers sent Paul and Silas off to Berea. When they got there, do you know what they did? They had exactly the same plan. Even though some people got angry about the message in the last city they went to, this time they still went to the synagogue in Berea and kept on teaching all about Jesus. Here in Berea, the Jews listened and they looked at the Old Testament scriptures every day to see if what Paul said was true. Many people believed, including some important Greek women and men. Well, imagine if Paul and Silas had given up after Thessalonica. The Jews at Berea would never have heard the good news about Jesus. But because they kept going, some people began to believe. Well, when the Jews in Thessalonica heard that Paul was still teaching God's word, but this time just in Berea, the Jews came and they made the crowds angry. So the believers had to send Paul away to the coast. But Silas and Timothy stayed. Paul was taken to Athens and he asked that Timothy and Silas come and join him. Next week we'll find out more about what Paul did while he was in Athens waiting for Silas and Timothy. Well, we saw today in our story, didn't we, that people felt and acted differently to the good news about Jesus. In Thessalonica, a few people believed, but some got really mad because they didn't want Jesus to be king. In Berea, more people believed, but then Paul still got chased away, didn't he? But the good news is that in both those places, the believers got together and they created churches and the church grew. Paul even wrote two letters to the church in Thessalonica to say how pleased he was that they were living to please Jesus, even though people who didn't love Jesus were making their lives pretty tough for them. And you know this too, don't you? If you try to tell maybe friends from kindergarten or school about Jesus, sometimes people want to hear and sometimes people don't want to hear. But the message we hear from this story is that we should keep on telling people about Jesus because God is always at work, isn't he? Let's pray about that now. Heavenly Father, thank you so much um, that you are in charge of who becomes a Christian. Uh, yeah, we thank you um, that you can help us to keep on telling the news about Jesus. Help us on the days when it's hard and people don't want to hear to keep on going and to know that you love people and long to see them become Christians. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, that's everything for this week. Have a really good week. 
Um, yes, and if you want to sing a few songs, I've put some links in the YouTube page.